one more thing that we're going to share with you, thanks to Michael, um, McKins uh, Michael Mazinski, um, and this is a, um, a, a video, another video that Michael has um, brought to our attention. Um, let's let's roll it. <laughs> Fantastic. Here we go. There we go. When we started the company, we felt that there was a new energy that was emerging. In the last seven years, we've grown. No matter where we go, the spirit of people for change and innovation is the same. There is more innovation happening in the world now than probably ever before. Our world intersects with startups and investors and corporates. Different verticals, different industries, um, no, and different sizes. And it all happens right here. Here in Austin. Here in Austin. Here in Austin. Here in Dallas. And they're in Austin. In Austin. Austin. In Philly. You know, Mountain View. And they're in Houston. In, Houston. in New York. And in San Antonio. In San Diego. In San Francisco. In San Francisco. Silicon Valley. Austin is a tech hub. Girls Who Code is disruptive because we're really changing the face of the future of tech. Being disruptive means being disruptive. It was very, very disruptive. Disruptive. So I think what's so disruptive and revolutionary about this concept, it was all about disruption. The most effective way to disrupt something is to learn how to code. Coding, coding, learning. Data storage, data movement, data engineering, and really being able to bring business value into the data that we have. And this really hasn't been done before. And that's why it's had such a big impact on the industry. As we bring in people that are subject matter experts. They're a startup accelerator, a startup co-working space. They're pretty much the largest early stage venture company in the city. One of the fastest growing fintech apps in the world. And I think it's just a great testament that this model is here to stay. The soul of the startup ecosystem in Texas is where we work and it's where our home is. And we're going to take you there. We're in a great neighborhood. We're literally steps away from a Starbucks, and down the street from some local favorites like Soul Cycle is a really exciting space to be in. We have um, a large open office space, open floor plan, and then that feels really open and bright and, and kind of a lot of air. The space is airy and bright with an open concept design, great for collaboration. We do have an open floor plan, which helps us be our highly collaborative selves. Now, open floor plans are amazing and they help foster collaboration. The desk seating situation is actually really unique. We work in an open pit, which allows for a lot of collaboration. Space where we promote collaboration. More in that open collaborative space. People want an open collaborative environment. It's open, collaborative, um, really team oriented. Uh, the culture within the teams are very collaborative. So this big open space is a place to casually meet up. There's a bunch of conference rooms behind these glass doors. I mean, it's very open. Yeah, space. I think, you know, it's we've got meeting and conference rooms around the exterior so that if you need a place to be more private, you know, you can find that space, um, whether it's for a call or, or a, a tight meeting. These are huddle spaces built for folks to get together in small groups, find their focus, or do a client call. It's great when you need to jump on a call, have a quick meeting, or just when you need to get out from behind your desk. There's a bunch of whiteboard area uh, across the entire uh, room, so it allows for easy collaboration while you're on the couch. You know, just go grab a sofa to have a quick meeting, uh, be informal. Stand-up room. So sometimes meetings drag on, and you know what? They don't last as long when people have to stand the whole time. That's our office, it's our home. It's not, it doesn't feel corporate here. It really is a big family. And you see that play out in what we build for the employees and the team as well. Yeah, you'll see dogs all over the office. Some comfortable seating, as well as our arcade game. Galaga, Frogger, Tetris, Minecraft. My favorite, Centipede. <laughs> There's a Xbox in here. Over here we have uh, a game room. I'm a gamer. So here is where lunch is laid out for everyone in the office on a daily basis. We also have coffee. We've got coffee. The coffee situation is pretty sweet. We have three taps. We also have a full bar. We serve beer on tap. And beer on tap. Cheers. Outdoor boot camp, yoga sign in. Have a studio here. People come in and just do a quick workout. Morning we had yoga class in here. Yoga, CrossFit. You know, we do everything from yoga uh, to meditation groups. We have meditation rooms. I think we're the only startup in the North Bay that can claim kayaking and paddleboarding as a perk. How cool is this? 
our very own air hockey table. Foosball. We have games for everyone. We have some ping pong, some shuffleboard. We have some pool tables in the back. We have you know, foosball, pool table, game room. We got to have showers. Here we have a shower. People can um, take care of all the stuff they need to right here. We also have our VR room. But our secret Willy Wonka room. Give him a little, oh, hey, whoa. Really cool things that are going to change how we live our lives and how we run our businesses every single day. We're creating an experience. We've inspired a movement. Our culture is about making that human connection. We're a company that wants to provide people with an energy source. There's an energy of people doing their own thing while actually still being part of something greater than themselves. When you think about the value of community and collaboration, you feel this sen sense of family togetherness and that we're all in this to create together. Fantastic. Excellent. Good. Excellent. Well, listen, that brings us to the end of the first day at the FTE Kia. I want to thank you so much for participating and um, uh, driving the conversation and being respectful of our speakers. It was a good day. We're going to enjoy the sunset with some drinks, continue the conversation. Uh, we'll continue the conversation on some of these panels tomorrow morning. Thank you so much, all of the speakers. It was so great to have you on stage. Uh, thank you very much, and let's go have a drink.